In this video, we're going to look at the Wave Shaper section. Now, I've got one of the raw waveforms loaded in. Other than that, it's an initialized patch. And here's what it sounds like. And we're going to go into the Wave Shaper synthesis by clicking on this button, and we can turn it on and off here. And this section of synthesis has presets. So it's fun to go through them and explore what it does to the sound. But in this video, we'll look at all the controls individually. Now, basically, this wave shaper takes the oscillator that's assigned to this layer, takes the waveform, passes it through some curves, and adds different types of distortion, and it changes the whole harmonic sort of structure of the sound. Now, there's three main sections. There's the bit crusher section here, there's the wave shaping section, and there's the reducer section here, and then there's some routing controls. Now, we'll start with the bit crusher section. It's basically used to reduce the bit depth, and as we bring this down, as you would expect, it reduces the bit depth. And this crush slider adds a kind of distortion to the reduced bit depth. Let me add a bit of the wave shaping in just so we can hear it a bit more clearly. So that's the bit crusher section. Now, normally these types of effects are kind of effect that you add on after the sound, like running through a distortion pedal or something. But by using it in this kind of manner, we can really dynamically affect the harmonic content of the sound over time by modulating these parameters. Now, the shaper section introduces wave shaping to the layers oscillator. The depth slider controls the amount of it. And the preset buttons basically offer four different algorithms. And they go from softer to more aggressive as we go up. So that's sounding pretty nasty, but we can degrade the sound even more with this sample rate reduction section. Now, the sample rate slider reduces the sample rate, and it adds distortion and aliasing and artifacts that we generally associate with sample rate reduction. So I think you hear where this is going, We're really tearing apart the sound. And the animation, it adds a kind of time variant to the sound. It adds a bit of a delay, so it widens the sound as you move this up. So you get a nice wide stereo kind of image. Now, finally, we have this section here, and this determines where in the signal flow the wave shaping is going to be introduced. Now, when we put it in an oscillator mode, it places it before the filter section. So right now, we're not going to hear any difference because the filter isn't on. Let's go and turn the filter on. I have it set to oscillator so that when it's in that oscillator mode, it's placed before the filter section, so this way we will hear the effects of the filter. And there it's placed after the filter. And when it's in amp mode, it's placed after the amplifier stage. Now, finally, we have a mix slider, and we can dial in the amount that we want mixed with the layer's main oscillator. And then we have a gain offset. So that's wave shaper synthesis.